Oh, I want to taste that one. With the salmon. Both, love. Huh? You can have both. Let me taste it. I ain't doing nothing with our house, man. <laughs> Mommy! I ain't doing Mommy. nothing with our house. They have me. All right, restrained. all right, all right, all right. I'm here. Restrained. Mm, restrained. Restrained. <laughs> <laughs> restrained, my restrained. Restrained. We're on the team. We're up the ball. morning guys so Bran and Aries are about to leave Marley stayed at my parents yesterday I made this really good Reese's protein shake I cut up like some sugar-free um, peanut butter cups on the top and I used this new I showed you guys in my last vlog but the organ protein and peanut butter cup and I put some sugar-free um, chocolate drizzle and some whipped cream. It is bossin' bossin'. Brandon said he kind of likes it, not really. But he's not really a big chocolate or peanut butter person. So, yeah. But I like it, baby. Girl, it's real good. Real good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I'm about to go get the front of my braids um, rebraided. So the front row of my hair rebraided, which is why I'm not on camera, because I'm looking crazy. And then Brandon's going to go home. I'll probably go to the gym after that, get Marley, and then come back and just have, like, a study and clean up and organized day. So Marie. see y'all later. Ooh, of course, I would drop my feet on the ground. All right, guys. So we are getting in the car. I got the front of my hair rebraided. It's chilly. That's the one thing I will say that I don't like about getting my hair braided is just like leaving the salon and you kind of wet. So I'm just gonna like pull them to the front and hope that my like fluffy, my fluffy little jacket. Um, but she does such a good job. Um, shout out to Sharice at So Plush. She. Sorry guys, I'm putting it in my holder, but not only is she just super knowledgeable, but she just does such a good job. And she has a great personality. You feel very comfortable in her chair. I'll probably come back in like two weeks. I'm gonna get a trim and just start treating my natural hair. Um, because for my birthday, I'm probably going to do some sort of wig. I'm so cold. Um, I'm gonna do like a wig, but I'm not sure what yet. Maybe you guys can vote on this that this week. Um, but I'm gonna do a wig and with that, making sure I have my wallet. Um, with that, I am gonna have her trim it, probably do like a deep condition, um, <clears throat> and just braid me down and I'll do my wig and stuff myself. But yeah, so we look a nice and fresh and fly again. Love it, love to see it, love to see it. Um, but she did an amazing job such clean parts. Um, she also said going forward I probably just because my hair texture and everything I probably can't do large um, Braids I'm gonna have to do like smaller medium which I kind of already This is my first time doing large. I kind of already had had that thought myself. So again, she's just super knowledgeable and I'm just really happy to have found a salon where I don't know, I just feel good about going there. I feel good, I feel like my hair is going to really reap the benefits of being treated by someone who's so knowledgeable. It's just so nice. Um, so that's that's what I have to say there. But right now we're about to go get Marley um, and then head back home and just do some little like errand to do type things for the day. It's a day off, um, it is MLK day and um, <coughs> I'm just gonna like wrap up my to-do list and just find ways to set myself up for success um, throughout the week because these weeks really be jam-packed. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. No! All right, 
up, y'all. We are back home. As you can hear, Marley is back home too. Um, this is going to be my lunch, just some fresh shrimp and a little cocktail sauce with extra horseradish mixed in. Um, the reason I'm standing here is because we got rid of the ottoman today. It was just, don't mind the pillows and everything. Like I, I gotta clean that up. But we got rid of the ottoman because it was just in bad condition. And I don't know, I kind of like it open like this. Look at Marley posing. I kind of like it open like this, but at the same time, it's like too open. But then I don't wanna put like a coffee table because I have this table right here. So I don't know, maybe maybe I'll like show you guys a little bit more of like my space and you guys can give me more opinions. But um, yeah, like I like the open space feel, but at the same time, I don't know if it's too open right now. What do you think, Marl? Marley, what do you think? Do you think we should put something there? Coffee table, new ottoman. What do you what are you thinking, bud? Wag your tail if you want another ottoman. Huh? What do you want, Marl? He's like, I don't care. Um, but yeah. Basically, I'm about to chow this down. I'm gonna go upstairs, sit in the office, and do some work. What's up, guys? Um, I made my shake. I forgot to show you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm like moving really quick this morning. Um, my outfit is really cute today. Hold on, let me try to show y'all. Okay, I've been following. I'm gonna link her in my video. But I've been following this um fashionista on Instagram, and she is just she's really it. Wow. This is real life, guys. Like, this is real life. Good morning, guys. I want to show you my outfit. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. But, um, back at the side. All right, um, you kind of get the gist. <laughs> but, uh, essentially, wow. Wow. I have just, like, these pants on from H&M. They are really high-waisted. They go up to, like, here. Um, these are, like, a size 10. And then this just sweater from Walmart, believe it or not. Um, with that, I put my new glasses um, from z -Law. Just a little clear gloss and my Kate Spade earrings. And this is our Monday fit, okay? Monday English teacher fit. So I already made my shake. Sorry I didn't include y'all. I am crushing up my little garnish. It's my little sugar-free lily. Um, Reese's cup. I think I'm losing my voice. I might wear a mask today at work just because I'm not feeling great. Um, but other than that, it's a regular morning. I'm doing pretty good on time. I pack my lunch. I'm making myself some tea. That's the only real difference um, or thing I've added in this morning. Making myself some tea because you hear how I sound. Um, so I eat some tea. But... Today's gonna be a long day, so I will bring you guys along for parts of it, but I teach the first two periods in the morning, and then the rest of the day I have projects and things to be working on. Um, and then 
later on i had class i did not make it to the gym at 5 a.m mm -mm, it wasn't happening today baby girl <clears throat> so that'll probably also be part of our evening i went ahead and just um i went ahead and just brought my gym clothes right along with me because i need to go to the gym before i come back so yeah i'll talk to y'all along the way today now y'all how did i <coughs> post on my instagram talk about happy monday it's tuesday i'm so silly it's tuesday we had yesterday off my brain's gonna be scrambled eggs today here we go Y'all, I might have messed around. I'm on lunch. I made the best salad combo ever. It's lettuce, corn, bacon bits, um, bare spicy chicken nuggets, like two of them, cheese, onion, and some of the Skinny Girl Chipotle Ranch. I might have to eat this again tomorrow because it's just that good. So guys, um, I am waiting to sign into my Zoom class. We got a little din din here. So I made the salmon bowl again. Um, so about three ounces of salmon, some avocado, cucumber, scallion, rice, um, sriracha, and the sriracha mayo. Um, so this is about the bus and then the um, little seaweed sprinkle. And yeah, we're just waiting. Um, I'm going to try and... Marley's here too. I'm going to try and kill two birds with one stone. So as I'm on class, I'm also going to be working on a proposal that I have for my other class and I'm meeting with my professor about tomorrow. So this is really what the night is looking like. Um, this is me. <laughs> so yeah, we're just, we're just getting ready for about two, three hours of class. Um, and after that, I will probably be ready to go right to bed so just gonna chow down while I'm on class and also be productive hey y'all so it is 6 19 um it is Wednesday as you hear my voice <clears throat> I don't know I don't know what's going on um but yeah I'm, I think I'm coming down with something so it's the outfit of the day we have a uh, like a visit today so that's like when the higher up um administrative team come in and they like observe classes and whatnot so i just went with something pretty light got my regular shoes on um but yeah this is this is what i'm looking like today so about to take marley outside um i usually just let him out on the leash for a while because he likes to just do his own thing and then we're gonna make some breakfast and some lunch and we're out Hey guys, um, I'm back home in my little office. Um, I <clears throat> it was a rough day. Um, today was the first day in a while that I one cried at work, but two cried in front of a student. Um, and I don't really want to talk about the situation too much, just for different confidentiality um like reasons but what i will say is um 
Students go through so much. Teens in this day and age go through so much. And I'm not talking about, <clears throat> I think a lot of times people are quick to dismiss the issues that young people face and say like, oh, it's a breakup or it's this or it's that or it's like something minor. But it's like, <clears throat> and I kind of started this conversation a little bit on Instagram. Um, a few weeks back, I posted and I said, it was before like the long winter break and I said, just it was just basically like a PSA to educators just saying like be mindful because not all of your students are excited to go on break not every student likes to go on break not every student likes to be home for a lot of students whether they say it or not home is school because school is the only place where they truly feel safe and feel that they can be themselves and I think we take that so for granted and one of my big things, one of my like triggers is safety. <clears throat> and a student came to me today with just a really serious matter and and helping her and problem solving and hearing. I just, the human side of me kicked in and I, I just couldn't take it. And I, I cried and I think I'm just one who I try so hard to be so professional and I am that, but I'm also so human. And I think in reminding myself of that, there's just so much going through my mind right now. I'm sorry if I'm like going in so many different directions, but then I also have a meeting with one of my professors in 20 minutes that I'm about to prepare for, but life is real life is real and sadly a lot of life is the are these dark dark moments that make you realize like we live in a dark world like the stuff i hear the stuff i see sometimes i'm just like what the heck is really going on like what what in the world I don't know. I can't I can't even put it into words, but it was a tough day for me emotionally. And anyone who knows me know that I take such pride in being an educator. I love my job because I love working with young people. Like that's just <clears throat> my passion. That's just what I love to do and I don't know. I'm like getting teary, but I just feel like when people say say things like, you know, be the person you needed when you were young, like that, a lot of that is what brought me to this field. And sometimes young people just need someone to listen, need someone to tell them a joke, need someone to say like, I'm living proof, like things get better. You know, you can do well, like there's a light at the end of the tunnel. But in being that model and being that person, that light sometimes is just so heavy. It's so heavy. Like, I feel heavy. Like, I have my protein shake that I made for breakfast next to me right now because I couldn't even, I couldn't even drink it today. Like, and if y'all know or if y'all are learning, I don't miss meals. I don't play with the protein, honey. Like, I haven't played with my protein intake since last year january like i get my protein in i get 100 grams of protein in per day today i'm at like 60 maybe like i'm not even hungry like i just feel heavy like i just want to go to sleep like if i don't cry again this evening i just want to go to sleep like that's where i'm at i just want to get <clears throat> this meeting underway and i just want to I just want a moment like I didn't even really call anyone on my way home I called my dad he's kind of my sounding board when stuff like this happens because I just um we're just very like-minded and he just understands so like my dad is my person who I call when I just need to um to talk through things and it's just so heavy, guys. 
like you wouldn't believe the things that happen to people and especially young people who lack the resources who lack the experience who lack the um the coping strategies to get through such hard things like it's so heartbreaking when something so horrible happens to them because they don't know how to navigate it and they don't deserve the extra stuff they just don't even deserve it like let it happen to someone like me let it happen to someone who could bounce back someone who could you know figure it out like not them but <clears throat> that's where I am I'm super sorry to like come on here and like this like somber note but <sighs> I think a lot of people see the glamorous side of education. They see the fun, they see the engagement, they see the teaching, they see the the learning, they see the joy in the kids' faces, they see the jokes and the, you know, but there's also a real serious dark side. And when people say things like, you know, you gotta turn it off, you gotta check out, you gotta separate work from home. I do a good job of that, but there are times when like, bringing the stuff that's impacted you throughout the day home is just inevitable like you just have to do it and I, that's just how I feel like nothing's gonna shake this feeling um so that's just where I am I have a data meeting in 15 minutes with my professor and Of course, gonna put my game face on, present what I have, um, and you know, do what I have to do. But after that, I'm just really gonna take a moment for myself because it's okay not to be okay, and today I'm not okay, and I'm fine to just be that. So, I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Um, be well, treat yourself well, do what you need. I ate a lot of carbs today. I hate to stress eat, but I ate more nonsense things than my high protein things, which is why I'm going to down this shake so I can at least get my protein goal in for the day. Later, I might make another salmon bowl because I've really been enjoying that lately, but just be well. Take care of you. So, kind of dropped the ball on this week's vlogs because I had an endoscopy yesterday. The last time I vlogged was the day that there was like a severe case um, at my school with a student. And I, since then, I just kind of been. <clears throat> but it's Saturday. I got my lunch packed, my coffee packed, my bag packed. It's going to be a long day. We have a graded discussion today. Um, the fit. Got my little Jackie jacket on. I got this from Walmart, believe it or not. And then I have just like a bodysuit tucked into my jeans. Um, and these new shoes I got from Lulu's. My favorite glasses, of course. And yeah. Um, so it's class isn't until 8.30, but I'm going to go early, get set up, organize my binder, all that good stuff. Um, I ate some of my oatmeal. I made some protein oatmeal this morning. Um, yesterday I really couldn't eat after the endoscopy. They took a biopsy of my stomach. Um, and this is just like routine due to the fact that I had a procedure done on my stomach a year ago. So they just want to make sure everything's good. So yeah, yesterday I was down for the count. I, I like the last thing I thought of was to vlog myself but also it would not have been pretty because i just was not <clears throat> in a good space to do that so today's gonna be a long day i may go out to 
I'm sorry, somebody's driving their car somewhere. I, don't know. I may go out to um, happy hour with my classmates afterwards. So I will keep y'all posted and yeah, that'll be our day. I hope you all have a great Saturday or whenever. Good morning guys. Um, huh, what a week, man, what a week. So I am actually, I'll show y'all what I'm doing. I'm actually, I get up on Sunday and I usually do my meal prep. So today I have my crock pot, I'm sauteing some ground beef. And then in my air fryer, I've already made some like lean turkey sausage, um, et cetera. And I am meal prepping. So I am meal prepping a little bit of lean beef and turkey and chicken sausage chili. The saute is too hot. But yeah, so I'm just seasoning my meat. <clears throat> I got all my seasoning. And I just want to come on here and talk to y'all. Um, I think a big thing with this week is I just wasn't okay. And I'm still kind of getting there. There's just a lot going on in the world, in life, in school, just all of the above. And I just, I'm just at a place with myself where I like just have to tell myself that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not feel great physically and mentally every day. It's okay to just kind of like, it's okay to just be sometimes like even the feelings you can't describe even the things you cannot pin a word to like that's okay and last night I kind of just went into my own little planet and my friend Taylor um she has a like little jacuzzi and we it's funny my friend Taylor Taylor and I, <laughs> the two Taylors, we just went over there and just drank wine and ate chips and just sat in the jacuzzi until almost one in the morning. And we just like enjoyed each other. Like we just laughed and talked and rationalized and made sense of things and asked each other questions. And honestly, that was exactly just what I needed. Like I just needed to be in a low ask space where I'm not being required to do anything but just be and I just needed to just decompress and for me my friends are the space for me to just be myself and decompress I'm very very big on energy and like knowing who and when and what to be around and like yesterday I like text my friends at 10 in the morning I was in my class and I was just like guys like this class is absolutely insane. Like, what is everyone doing this evening? Because I need to see somebody. And we, like, love to be with each other. So it was just nice because within minutes, we, like, had a plan of, like, let's do this, let's do that, and meet here and do this. And it was absolutely perfect. So just shout out to good friends. Friends who refill your cup when your cup is empty, baby, because my cup was empty. Um, but this week was just a whirlwind. I apologize if the content wasn't as, I'm adding some onions to my um, chili. I'm, I apologize if the content was not as like, I don't wanna say entertaining because if I'm on here for my life to be entertaining, mm, I probably wouldn't be on here for long because you know, it's not all the time that life is super entertaining. But I apologize if this week just kind of felt and seemed like blah. But like, I also just wanna to speak to the fact that like, that was this week like this week was so much um at once and again i'm human and i'm just at a place with myself where i'm saying no more i'm checking out more i'm you know if something doesn't feel well i'm literally this is a chicken sausage i just put in the air fryer and then these are lean ground turkey sausages that i put in the air fryer and i'm just gonna cut them into pieces and just add them to the chili because this is obviously gonna be a way to make it higher protein um but yeah so um i you know i'm just at a space and a place in life where like if it doesn't feel good if it's not recharging if it's not replenishing if it's not you know adding value like i'm not doing it like and the sad part is i in a lot of ways i'm recognizing that i was very much so 
<clears throat> in some ways of my life a yes woman and a, a people pleaser and a well I have to go because this person will feel like that and not even recognizing okay but how do you feel if you force yourself to go to this thing that you really don't want to go to like does that matter no and I'm just in a space where I'm just saying no like if I don't want to do something I'm not doing it if I can't do something I'm not doing it like I'm no longer pushing myself to the limit to feel not well and I'm also just at a place where I'm okay with like not owning how that makes other people feel so like you know sometimes you say no or whatever and people take it personal and that's okay like that's their way of processing how you've made them feel or how they're interpreting why you didn't come or do something and I'm also okay with that I, for a long time I wasn't okay with that like I put a lot of people's feelings before my own and I just feel like you know I'm, I'm done doing that oh my god did I just drop a piece of sausage oh my god okay I just dropped two pieces of sausage guys no all right well here we go so but yeah so this morning usually on Sunday I like to just get my meal prep out of the way nice and early so it doesn't feel like I have to cook later and things like that um so that's what I'm doing now I'm just gonna add like some crushed tomatoes to this um I'm also going to add um what should I call it some beans to it some water and just make it into a nice little you know nice little chili chili man and this will probably be my lunch for the week put some sour cream some jalapenos on this easy to heat up at lunch you know it's been a little cold so it'll just be a nice touch so I got my crushed tomatoes with basil so I'm just gonna open up that good old can but yeah guys so that's really it I'll probably end up showing you all what I wear to brunch. We're going to this place called Shells and Bones, I think. Shells and Bones. Um, it's in New Haven. And we're going. We're going to celebrate my sister's birthday, which was the 14th of January. Um, doing a little brunch brunch, so that'll be nice. Um, and yeah. I've also been like on this budgeting thing. So it's like finding ways to enjoy um life to be social to get out there without breaking the bank because i'm sure you all notice this but you know sometimes you go out with your friends and um that was crushed tomatoes i think i'm actually also gonna add i have diced tomatoes in here at first i thought that was gonna make like like too tomato-y but like i might as well just add this in let me see does it have no it doesn't yet because i like like i don't know i like a little tomato you know so that was, that's what i'm saying it's like I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. But what I was saying is life's expensive. And sometimes, you know, to go out and have dinner and a drink, baby girl, you look at the bill, it's $50, $60, the pop. Like for me, household of one, like that's a week worth of meals at Trader Joe's. That's um, all types of stuff. So like, I just have to economize more this year. And you know, just also getting my friends in on that. And I've been very honest. I've been like, listen, let's let's find ways to not break the bank. So instead of maybe going out and having three drinks, let's buy a bottle or let's go to someone's house and everyone bring something, an appetizer or a snack, or let's order pizza and split it four ways. Um, but just finding ways to like not miss out on time with my people, of course, because I love to see my people, but what are some ways that we can help each other, you know? Like we need to see each other and feel good and spend time, but like, can we do that without spending all this money and that's really been one of my big pushes this year and i'm gonna hold myself accountable to that because really the only resolution this year i have is to be debt free like i just want to be debt free i want to i want to attain financial freedom i want to be in a good space i'm turning 28 next month and i just want to be in a space where i'm like i'm set you know like i want everything god willing to just be paid off i became a homeowner at 25 um I have a master's i um I'm in school for another professional certification and then I'll be going into a professional degree program and with all of that comes money <laughs> and I just want to be in a space and a place where before 30 I can check my boxes and say like no I'm good I got this you know and I want more freedom to travel more to splurge more to you know treat myself to the things I want to live in a more luxurious way and I'm not saying luxury money equals luxury because I you know I look around my home I feel luxurious here but I just want to be in a space where 
money's not a problem. And money's not a problem right now, but like I've thought to myself, if I could like take that to the next step, like it would just be crazy, like just crazy. And then, you know, I, I don't see myself having kids anytime very soon, but when I do, allowing them to reap some of the generational wealth that comes from the decisions that I make right now. So, you know, early 20s, <clears throat> I made a lot of great decisions. Um, and I also learned from a lot of different things. And I feel like right now I'm in a really great space to just prioritize saving, prioritize um, lessening my spending, and just paying things all the way off. <laughs> so, excuse me. That is literally where I am. Um, I'm going to show you guys how the chili came together. This is literally one of my favorite and easiest, um, what is on my glasses? One of my favorite and easiest, um, meal preps because it's high protein, low fat, um, and very easy to put together. So this is what we have so far. So yeah, baby. Once you let that go for a few hours, guys, it's going to be nice and just thick and good. And we're going to add our little kidney beans. It's going to be so good. So this is an easy lunch. I'll have this like every day for the week and it'll just be absolutely amazing. So I will talk to you guys again when I get ready for brunch. <sighs> hey guys, so this is seeming like the brunch look and I'm smiling because I just had one of those moments where you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, girl, you look good. Um, but this is a black bodysuit. It's like a one shoulder kind of weird situation but it's like backless so this is what I'm wearing and then I got these new like it's almost like a snakeskin feel boots from Lulu and this is my first time like putting them on and guys like I'm pretty obsessed like come on I did really light makeup um I just have my little movement watch on and I did like this purpley gloss girl for me with my whole oh and i think i'm gonna pair it with don't mind my bed i have like stuff all over but <clears throat> with this so this will be like the full look but within my whole like journey my stomach has been like my area of focus and i've been doing a lot of like cardio and ab exercises And they're like finally paying off. Like I still have a little something here, but I'm really proud of my waist and I feel like I look so smooth. Like, sorry, I'm doing this because these have a heel on them and I have one on and one off, but I really feel pretty right now. Um, and I'm just taking a moment to just like soak that in because it's just a really good feeling. Um, I just feel great like I looked at myself and I said wow like I feel like I look really good don't mind my washer I'm doing laundry in the back but this is the brunch look on him so he had to stay with the car with the key so it was either I go with the car or he go home with an Uber so I was like I'll just go home with an Uber or whatever should I just park over here Say hi to the guests of Kendall Rapkick. Oh my god. Like everything was a hit. But this is so good. Like so so good. No, I want you to do your video. Alright All right, guys, we're ending the vlog here. Um it's been a crazy week, but good ending. We had a great time at brunch and I will see you in the next one. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, give suggestions.